Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. Uh, once again in my favourite pub, the Plough and Harrow. Uh, that's in Hammersmith. And a very rainy, overcast London. Uh, that's United Kingdom. About to recite uh, my latest poem, uh, which I wrote in the early hours of this morning, as always. It's called Anti-Me. Rage. How I rage inside. Hide the inner explosion with my gullible smile from the eyes cast upon me. But be sure it's there, brewing like a time bomb, ticking alongside my broken heart. Rage, uncontained and seething. You know nothing of the word, and it has many meanings. It is concocted in so many forms unbeknown to you. And as you sleep in peace, my rage is coming to the boil, ready to burst from the cracks which have formed over my shell, which is my sanity, as my defense is eroded by the constant letdowns from humanity. Rage, you have little or no comprehension, nor any idea of its consequence, as it reaches a point where it cannot be calmed, for time has made its cauldron fester, and it is now just waiting for a sprinkle of bitterness to ignite the touch paper which is my route to oblivion. Rage, 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 don't place the blame at my doorstep, for you all have played your parts too often. You are the perpetrators of its existence. My pot virtually empty before you added the isolation and desolation that comes when misery is stirred. Rage, it's the hate of you within me, although I do feel I no longer exist. My real self contaminated, exterminated a long time ago with callous cruelty and misunderstanding, not forgetting the lack of compassion withheld over decades. Rage, rage inside me, overwhelming, intrusive and out of control, about to pass the tipping point of containment, and it will never be contained, not while the climate is predominantly anti-me. So heed the warning, Please, the begging is over. I am enraged, and therefore I am at war. That's to the government, the Tory government.